Alright, so in this video, I'm going to solve the equation a squared minus b squared is equal to 49. So to solve this, I'm going to use the property that states that if I have something in the form x squared minus y squared, this is equal to x plus y times x minus y. In this case, a squared minus b squared, a is x and b is y, so this turns into a plus b times a minus b is equal to 49. Now from here, I can rewrite 49 as 7 times, or sorry, not 7, 49 times 1. 49 is equal to 49 times 1, so that's true. And this I can rewrite as 7 times 7. Now, we obviously know that a plus b is going to be greater than a minus b. So keeping this in mind, this means that we can't, we can't rewrite a plus b times a minus b as 7 times 7, as 7 and 7 are equal. So this possibility is out of the way, and 49 times 1 is the only possibility here meaning we're going back to a, time, a plus b times a minus b is equal to 49 times 1. So because a plus b is greater than a minus b, we can say that a plus b is equal to 49 and a minus b is equal to 1 because a minus b, 1 is less than 49 and a minus b is less than a plus b. And this is also in the form another, a number times a number. So and notice how this is equal to a number times another number. So we can say that a plus b is equal to 49 and a minus b is equal to one. So what we have here is a system of equations and I'm gonna add these system of equations. a plus a is 2a, b and negative b cancel out and 49 plus one is 50. So I get that 2a is equal to 50 and if I divide both sides by two, these two cancel out and I get A is equal to 25. Now that we know that A is equal to 25, remember how we said that A plus B is equal to 49. So this means that 25 plus B is equal to 49 and B is equal to 49 minus 25, which is 24. So A equals 25 and B equals 24. All right, so in this problem, I have two to the power of 24 minus 16. So to solve this problem, my solution my first start by rewriting my problem here. So I have two to the power of 24 minus 16. And this is the same thing as two to the power of two times 12 minus 16. So all I did was I rewrote 24 as two times 12 in my exponent. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So in this case, we have 2 to the power of 2 times 12. And I can rewrite that as 2 to the power of 12 to the power of 2. And I have this minus 16. And now I'm going to rewrite 16 as 4 squared. So I get 2 to the power of 12 to the power of 2 minus 4 squared. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. Notice how we have 2 to the power of 12 squared minus 4 squared. So in this case, a is 2 to the power of 12 and b is 4. So I get 2 to the power of 12 plus 4 times 2 to the power of 12 minus 4.
Now, 2 to the power of 12, what is this equal to? Well, we know that 2 to the power of 10 is equal to 1024, meaning 2 to the power of 11 is the same thing as 1024 times 2, which is 2048. And 2 to the power of 12 is equal to, sorry, 2048 times 2, which is 4096. So I get 4096 plus 4 times 4096 minus 4. Now from here, 4096 plus 4, that's equal to 4100. And 4096 minus 4 is equal to 4092. So I get 4,100 times 4,092. And now we have to find a way to solve this without a calculator. Because, well, the first method everyone would think of is just doing it sim normally, right? But this is wrong because it's going to take way too long and we need a more efficient method. So how are we going to multiply these two quickly? Well, we, what we can do is rewrite 4,100 as 4,000 plus 100, and we write 4,092 4, as 4,000 plus 92. Now, the reason I did this is because now I can distribute. So I'm going to distribute 4,000 first. 4,000 times 4,000 is 4,000 squared. Now, 4,000 times 92 And now I have this plus, I can distribute the 100. So I have 100 times 4,000 plus 100 times 92. Now from here, 4,000 squared is going to equal 1,600,000. Or sorry, 16 million plus 4,000 times 92 is going to be 368,000 plus 100 times 4,000 is going to be 4, 400,000 plus 100 times 92 is 9,200. Now this is equal to 1 million, or sorry, 16 million plus 368,000 plus 400,000 is 768,000. And I have this plus 9,200. And this is all equal to, I have 16 million plus 768,000 plus 9,200. Well, let's do first row. 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0. Second row, 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0. Third row, 0 plus 0 plus 2 is 2. Fourth row, 0 plus 8 plus 9 is 17. We're going to carry the 1. Fifth row, 1 plus 0 plus 8 is 9. Sixth row, 0 plus 7 is 7. Seventh row, I just have 6. And eighth row, I have 1. So I get 16,797,000. 200. So this, or sorry, looks like I made a mistake. This is actually a 6. So this should be, carry the 1, 6 plus 1, which is 7. So I get 16,777,200. So this is my answer to... 500 squared. Sorry, that's not. It's my answer to 2 to the power of 24 minus 16.